The F-35 Lightning II, America's most advanced fighter jet, the most expensive weapons program in history, $1.7 trillion spent, and right now, it's stuck in limbo. The upgrade that was supposed to arrive in 2023 won't be ready until 2031. That's eight years late. Every F-35 delivered in 2024 showed up past its due date. Software crashes, hardware failures, pilots resetting their systems mid-flight. The fighter jet that's supposed to dominate the skies can't get its computers working right. Here's the situation. The F-35 program promised a revolutionary upgrade called Block 4. New radar, better sensors, more weapons, enhanced electronic warfare. It was scheduled for 2023, then 2025. Now, best case scenario, 2031. That's not a delay, that's a crisis. The foundation for Block 4 is Technology Refresh 3, or TR3. It's the hardware and software backbone the jet needs. Last year, Lockheed Martin delivered 110 jets. All of them were late. Average delay, 238 days, nearly eight months per aircraft. The Pentagon stopped accepting deliveries for an entire year because the systems didn't work. When they finally started taking jets again, they came with a truncated version of TR-3. Translation, incomplete, not combat ready. Meanwhile, the price tag keeps climbing. Block 4 was supposed to cost $10.6 billion. Latest estimate, $16.5 billion. If you think our military deserves better than broken promises and cost overruns, type YES in the comments. Let's break down how we got here. The F-35 program started with good intentions. Create one fighter jet that could do everything, air superiority, ground attack, electronic warfare. Build it in three versions for the Air Force, Navy, and Marines. Sell it to our allies. Brilliant idea on paper. In reality, it became the most complex aircraft program ever attempted. Block 4 was supposed to bring over 80 individual improvements. The centerpiece was TR3. New processors, better displays, more computing power. The jet needed this because modern warfare runs on data. Sensors collect information, computers process it, systems share it. All of this creates heat. The F-35's current engine can't handle what Block 4 demands. So the Air Force ordered an engine upgrade. Problem? That won't be ready until 2031 either. But the real disaster happened with the processors. Lockheed Martin held a competition for the new integrated core processor. Northrop Grumman made the original, but L3 Harris underbid them, won the contract, then couldn't deliver. The hardware arrived late. The software didn't work. During flight tests in 2023, pilots had to reset their systems in midair. Imagine rebooting your computer while flying a $100 million fighter jet. That's what happened. Multiple times, the Government Accountability Office released a scathing report. Lockheed delivered all 110 jets late in 2024 because of TR3 problems. Pratt and Whitney delivered all 123 engines late too. Average delay, 155 days. And here's the kicker. Both companies still got paid incentive fees. The GAO called it rewarding contractors for failure. Before we continue, if you're finding this eye-opening, hit that like button and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing, and it helps us keep bringing you the truth. The F-35 program is the most expensive weapon system ever built, $1.7 trillion over its lifetime through 2088. Each F-35A costs about $100 million. Compare that to an F-16, $63 million, almost half the price. Block 4 was budgeted at $10.6 billion. By 2021, it grew to $16.5 billion. Now, they won't even give a final number. The Air Force is so frustrated they cut their order. They requested only 24 new F-35s in the 2026 budget, half of what they planned. General David Alvin, the Air Force Chief of Staff, said it plainly. They won't buy more F-35s until Lockheed fixes the problems. He said the service needs jets that are relevant for the fight. That's a stunning admission. The Air Force is saying the most expensive fighter in the world isn't ready for modern combat. And it's not just about money. It's about capability. Every month the upgrade is delayed. Adversaries catch up. China's developing the J-20. Russia has the Su-57. Both are fifth generation fighters. The F-35 was designed to maintain American air superiority for decades. But if it can't get upgraded, that superiority erodes. 
Our men and women in uniform deserve equipment that works, not equipment that's eight years behind schedule. They train hard, they sacrifice, they put their lives on the line. The least we can do is give them fighters that function as advertised. Despite all the problems, the F-35 still has proven itself in combat. Israel operates 46 F-35 Oi Adir fighters. They've logged over 15,000 flight hours. They've flown more combat missions than any other F-35 variant in the world. In October 2024, Israeli F-35s conducted one of the most significant operations in the jet's history. They flew 2,000 kilometers into Iran, over 100 aircraft. They destroyed Iran's S-300 air defense systems, all of them. Not one Israeli jet was lost. The S-300 is Russia's premier air defense system. It's designed specifically to detect and destroy stealth aircraft. Iran had four operational batteries protecting Tehran and critical infrastructure. The F-35s took them all out. That's real-world combat against sophisticated defenses, and the F-35 dominated. Israeli pilots also used their jets to strike weapons factories, missile production facilities, command centers, zero losses, mission accomplished. The United States deployed F-35s to the Middle East throughout 2025. They've conducted strikes against Houthi rebels in Yemen. They've provided air cover during operations in Syria. Marine Corps F-35Bs have operated from amphibious assault ships. Navy F-35Cs have flown from carriers. Air Force F-35s have deployed to bases across Europe and the Pacific. When the jets work, they work brilliantly. The problem isn't the basic aircraft. The F-35 stealth is real. Its sensors are incredible. The distributed aperture system gives pilots 360-degree vision. The sensor fusion system combines radar, infrared, and electronic data onto a single screen. Pilots get a complete picture of the battlefield in real time. That's revolutionary. But all of that depends on the computers working properly. And that's where TR3 and Block 4 come in. So where does the program go from here? The Pentagon has made some tough decisions. They've cut the scope of Block 4. Originally, it included 66 new capabilities. Now, they're focusing on what can actually be delivered by 2031. Improved electronic warfare, better communications, some new weapons, enhanced sensors, but other capabilities are being pushed to later upgrades or canceled entirely. The Joint Program Office is creating a new sub-program structure. They're setting firm milestones. Capabilities will be delivered in phases. Each phase has to be tested and verified before moving to the next. It's a more realistic approach, more conservative, less ambitious. But maybe that's what the program needs. Lockheed Martin says they're committed. They plan to deliver at least 170 F-35s in 2025. Summer of 2025 brought a software update that should improve reliability. Pilots should see fewer system crashes, better performance, but trust has been damaged. Congress is watching closely. The Government Accountability Office is issuing regular reports. Lawmakers are demanding accountability. Some are questioning whether the entire program was oversold from the beginning. Meanwhile, our allies are moving forward. Germany ordered 35 F-35s. Poland is buying 32. Romania approved a deal for 32 more. The Netherlands is expanding its fleet. Why? Because despite the delays, despite the problems, despite the costs, there's still no better option. The F-35 is the only fifth-generation fighter available for export. It's the only jet that combines stealth, sensors, and networking at this level. When it works, it's unmatched, and our allies know that air superiority matters. They've watched the war in Ukraine. They've seen what happens when you don't control the skies. Fourth-generation fighters struggle against modern air defenses, the F-35, even with its current limitations, is still ahead of anything else available. The F-35's upgrade delays are frustrating, costly, unacceptable. But the program continues because the mission demands it. Our pilots need the best. Our allies need reassurance. The delays won't last forever. TR-3 will be fixed. Block 4 will be delivered. The F-35 will reach its full potential. The lesson? Complexity has a price. And the most expensive doesn't always mean the best managed. If this gave you a clearer picture, hit that like button. Subscribe for more honest breakdowns. Drop a comment with your thoughts. Thanks for watching.